So I wanted to do a tutorial video on this new dash cam that I got. It's a Red Tiger F7NP and it was the highest rated dash cam on Amazon that had a front and a back camera. And honestly, I didn't know anything about it last night. Uh, but I figured I would probably want the one that had the best rating. And so far it's actually been super easy to install and everything like that. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it's installed. I still think that Hyundai is, makes one of the best cars. They can actually back out of the garage by themselves. Something really cool. Okay, so here's a, here's a video of the system. So basically it comes with this main camera and then it comes with a backup camera. Both of them already have suction cups or some type of adhesive. Typically it's 3M, uh, but then you'll have one cord that goes to the back camera, which provides power to that back camera. And then this cord, which provides power from the car. And I always wondered how dash cams actually recorded the whole entire time but supposedly this thing will just keep on recording and it's got an SD card or SD card that's on the side. Make sure that if you get one, it's included. But it's actually going to record any time that my car is on. And there's also an option where if you wanted to hardwire, uh, there's a secondary part that you can buy. But if you wanted it to also record if there was an impact while you're parked, there's a way to do that, but that would be, uh, you have to buy an accessory and I think it's a little bit harder than install. But so I was a little bit concerned that the camera for my lane departure warning would be impacted by this. And so far it, it's been perfectly fine. So what I did was I just ran the first line, which is from the camera to the power adapter, straight up in from the top of the windshield down the side right here and then what you use this actually comes with the package as well it's a little tool that allows you let me see if I got it in my pocket similar to this like on my keychain right here so this is from a customer of mine but basically it opens it lets you open it and then you have to put it in there and you can hide it all the way down. So you basically kind of jerry-rig it to go all the way down. It, I mean, it took me like maybe an hour to do, but it wasn't super hard. So you come all the way down. And then what I did was I just took it to the floor and then came out right here, pop, and then went under my mat and then came up right here. And then it's in the little thing right here. And the nice thing about this socket is it powers on whenever the car is turned on and then vice versa, it powers off whenever it's off. So then after I installed that, I had this one, which is the back camera, which has a longer cord. I took it over here and then did the same thing through the top, down, and then went down here, around the door. And then you see the line right here. went back to the other door and then all the way up and then around the headrest and then I just put it up right there. And granted, it's not like the prettiest thing, but like for me, if I have one, one wire showing out of like 50 wires, like if I have a PC or something like that, you know, it still looks really nice. So, so far it's been really, really cool. I haven't really tried the Wi-Fi feature. It has GPS and everything like that, but, um, you know, I think the coolest thing is it's literally, it just goes on record and supposedly after it, uh, after it 
gets full, it will delete all of the old recordings that are all old and then just keep recording over itself. So it's, you know, when you live somewhere like Houston where people drive everywhere and the traffic is absolutely nuts and you work in sales and you're in your car all day, it could be really useful. So anyway, appreciate it. Thank y'all. Boop.